Hello everyone, welcome back. Continuing on with the Star Wars Phantom Menace 25 event, we're into chapter 5 now, which is Mos Espa. So the heroes have just escaped Naboo, but took damage um, from the droid control ship. And the hyperdrive is out, so they need to land on or they land on Tatooine to try and secure parts to fix the hyperdrive generator so Obi-Wan bets that Tatooine is probably the best place to get it so now we take control of Qui-Gon Jinn So Obi-Wan's telling us that the Queen has asked for her handmaiden Padme to join the trip. So we're just gonna just follow the path. And we have to fight off some Tusken Raiders. There's a lot again a lot of this um level. I do remember from years and years ago, excuse me, years and years ago. And the, oh yeah, one of the, th again, one of the things that stood out to me for this level was the, even the, the trip to Mos Espera itself. Um, the battling with Tusken Raiders and just basically trying to keep Padme and Jar Jar alive because if one of them takes too much damage they'll be killed and it'll be mission end and you've got to start again. Um, so then it's the run to Moss Esper. This may be more dangerous than I thought. And I don't see Pad Padme and Jar Jar should be behind. Nope, I'm going to have to go back and get them. So yeah, stay close to the other two characters because they'll, if you stray too far, they'll just stop. Um, which is one of the annoying things with the escort missions. You have to... Um, stay with them, otherwise they'll just stay put. So it's, we're just guiding, or waiting, for Padme. I'm not sure where Jar Jar's gone, but as long as Padme arrives at Mos Esper, it'll um, basically, it'll plant her where she needs to go once we're there. So we'll get to Moss Esper, Padme's gonna wait around here. Jar Jar and I will find food and supplies while you search for the parts we need. A bit of dialogue. And we're off, okay. So there are two parts that we need. No, we're not up to that yet. There's water. We're not up to that yet, I'm jumping ahead. Um, so we need to secure a hyperdrive generator. So that's where we're going looking first. We're gonna go in search, see if anybody knows anybody that has one. So this is Barbo's store, Barbo's not in, you just saw him jogging across the sand, he's going to talk to one of the guards, that is the back end, the back exit of Watto's shop, so we need the front end of Watto's shop, 
and just a little bit for a PlayStation game this level is actually quite um big. It's sort of I think it's probably the equivalent to a to a hub world. Um You'll get that a lot as well, there'll be thugs walking up to you, pushing you. Um just force push them out of the way. Because if you ra if if you get your lightsaber and start killing people then the whole um The whole city turns against you basically and you won't be able to carry on the mission. So there we go, bumped into Padme again. Jar Jar's missing. Yeah, it's all let me guess, Jar Jar's gone missing. So Padme's gonna go find Jar Jar. I know where Jar Jar is anyway. And we are going to go in search of a little boy named Anakin Skywalker. Thank you. So we head straight into the Slayer Quarters. There's Anakin. We just need to follow him. And we are faced with, or well, confronted by Shmi. He obviously doesn't want anybody just walking in. And um, confronting Anakin. You'll notice the life bar at the bottom of the screen is empty. Um, that's because for the purposes of the series and the storytelling I've actually activated the invincibility cheat just so I'm not continually having to restart and restart and restart I've done that on all the um, missions for Phantom Menace just turned off the I've turned on invincibility just just because of the again just because of the flow and so I'm not having to do the same mission three four times over if I get killed which if you're playing it through normally you're gonna get killed a few half a dozen times you're gonna get killed half a dozen times the beauty of playing it on the PS4 um, and the PS5 is that you've got the option to just rewind the gameplay so if you do fall, fail, die um, you can just rewind it a little bit and, and carry on uh, it is a feature I do forget to use actually on quite a few of these games uh, I'll just start the mission again but I need to remember to use that option because it does come in handy so we've met Anakin and now he's going to take us to Watto's junk shop well, he says there's a quicker way through the scrapyard but for someone who's light on his feet and very little the um, all the metal holds as it should, Qui-Gon's a lot heavier, so we need to find another way around. Stumble into a Jawa camp, uh, and if you enter the Jawa camp, you, you can just bypass it, you can just walk around it, but if you do enter it, they'll start firing. Uh, this doesn't affect the outcome of the mission by any chance, or by any means. Um, there's a, a little health pack in there as well. And a fuel converter. Now we've got to push this block uh, crate over this way so we can jump up and round and then just follow Anakin through to Watto's shop. Hi. 
So now we've got to go and speak to Watto because Anakin needs parts for his pod racer. Which is where the next part of the mission comes in. So we offer 500 Republic credits for the T-14, to which Watto says Republic credits mean nothing. And they need, the, the currency in ta on Tatooine is Pegots, so Watto demands Pegots for the T-14. So the only way we're going to be able to get the T14 is by securing 500 pegots, which is now where the next part of the mission comes in. Anakin needs parts for his pod racer, so we need to help Anakin fix his pod racer so that we can bet on him for the race and buy the T14, pay for the T14 with the winnings. This is where the Moss Esper level gets a bit tricky because you've got to remember where um, A, where the shops are and there's a certain way around of doing it and I always used to forget um, and I still can't remember now the, the, the correct layout, I can't remember exactly where the shops are even if I've been there five minutes before I just sometimes just get lost so the first things first Hello. so we need a servo control system and a repulse booster And I'm just trying to figure out it's where everything is, so we'll go talk. Oh, great Jedi, have you been sent to help free my son? What can I do to help my son? To this, uh, to this woman. And she asks for help because her son's been captured. So we need to... Basically helping her son escape helps us because it gives us... Um... It gives us the, the part, so Tomo, Tomo is the, the kid's name, the son's name, that's Tomo's mother. So now we need to, we can't get through the door because it's heavily guarded, we'll just get shot down. And yes, again, I know I've got invincibility on, but it's not going to help at the end of the day, it's just, you can't get in through the front door. So now I need to find the, there was a staircase. Um, there was a guard stood next to the staircase, not that one, um, and I, I'm trying to remember now which way it was. Was it this way? No. Nope, that's a dead end. Um, okay, I need to, and again, this is the issue that I always have with this mission, 
I can never remember where. Everything is, so I'll spend five, ten minutes walking around to try and find the bit that I'm looking for. So that's the slave quarters. I don't, we've been there, I don't, it's not in that area. So there'll be another street I haven't been down yet. And that'll be the street that I need. And down here, there's the, that's the bar, or the cantina, so we need to go in there later on. Uh, where is, where's he gone now? Try up this, I think it's up this way. It should be, yeah, there's, I can see the edge of the building. Well, that took longer than it should have done, so I'll just run straight through the building. They got the guy that owns the house will tell you to get out, just run past him, ignore him, tread very carefully. I'm switching from the stick to the D-pad, uh, because it needs that little bit of accuracy. So, and then there's a, um, a, a line, washing line, rope, whatever you want to call it, above the buildings. So just follow that across into... Sebulba's hey. private apartment. You know, this is Sebulba's private apartment. You better get out of here before he returns. So Sebulba's not in at the minute, but we're going to grab the gun and get attacked by a turret. Take the turret down, grab the blaster. Not that we're going to use it anytime soon. Just quite gone using a blaster just it just feels so wrong. And so uncivilized. So we go to the edge of this ledge. The bottom of the ledge, there's another uh, line across, but as as we're crossing, you'll see a guy come out in a second and he's gonna shoot and knock us off. So we're gonna take him down. Obviously, he's not going to stand still, but we've got to take him down, and then we've got to go all the way back across and cross the build, traverse the buildings again. There we go, found it a lot easier this time. So, back through the building again, switching from the stick to the D pad. Just because it's better to walk on this bit than to run. And then shimmy back across to Sebulba's apartment. Hey, don't you know this is Sebulba's private apartment? And then get out of here before he returns. Shimmy across this time to the building. Um, over the other side. No interference this time. And this is where Tomo is being kept. So the people in here are going to be a bit... Um, well, they're going to be a lot... Aggressive. There you go, we get a warning from... The woman in white. Can't have a conversation with the droid. Nope. Uh, now I've got to go onto this ledge and get rid of this Rodian. Which means the woman in white is then going to turn aggressive. So we'll just go and get rid of her anyway. There you go, she's got a gun drawn. 
and then there's a beast in that cage at the bottom so as we go there's Tomo in one cage and there's a big beast in the other one so as we head down the stairs there's a little health pack there um, the beast is going to come at us and I can't remember the best way to kill the beast the shooting it apparently doesn't do any good so I think it's going to have to be lightsaber drawn it's certainly the best way to kill it but obviously if you haven't got the invincibility cheat on then it's not the wisest thing to do because the beast will just tear you apart so the beast is dead and we can free Tomo find out that Captain Neg's not actually in the building, he's out hunting. So he's not gonna realise what's happened until he gets back anyway. Can we not use the stairs? And again, no, because the front door is heavily fortified. So Tomo would just be shot dead. Instead, go around the back and destroy the power generator that you saw earlier which unlocks this door and then just follow Tomo round to where his mum is waiting for him here we go, he's alive, he's safe and well and it's not registered it yet because he's not he's, I think he's supposed to stand next to it before it triggers the next before it, it triggers um, her reaction because she does give us a pod race apart so yeah move out of the way Tomo sits next to his mother and there we go that's triggered the next part of the conversation And that gives us a repulse booster. Okay, so I'm gonna try and figure out where we go next because now we need the servo control system. Uh Okay, slave quarters. Oh, let's speak to this guy first. Maybe not. Okay, back to the slave quarters. I'm not even going to bother knocking the thugs out of the way, just run past. So back to the slave quarters and speak to this yak face character. So he's been thrown out of his home by thugs and he wants us to basically go in there and get rid of the thugs for him. Which is something that you need to do because it then saves um, a shopkeeper called Vectrow and you get a part from him as well. So just go in and kill all the thugs. The Rodian guarding, two Rodians guarding Vec. So again, just get rid of the th get rid of the thugs, and we've saved Vec. And then just follow him in and speak to him. Anything you need, let me know. 
So we will see that we are searching for a servo control system. Um, and just keep asking him for things, just tell him you're looking for a servo control system, a T14 hyperdrive generator, and eventually he'll offer us some energy binders, which we can then go and trade. With uh, Team Tow. So there's the engine binder. So now we need to go to the bar and find Team Tow, one of the pod racers. There's Jar Jar in the bathhouse. But we can't get round um, this side. Door's not open yet. So now we need to go find the cantina. And again, I've got to try and remember which way round it is. Because now we're back at the slave quarters. That's the Jawa um, encampment. Don't go in there because they will attack. And then it will um, it will matter. Because if the citizens can see you attacking Jawas in the open, they'll all they'll basically all turn against you and you'll get all the guards calling you a killer and coming after you so just try and keep the combat to a minimum and I need I still can't Remember which way to go. Is it down this way? I'm trying to get my pod racer ready for the race. No, not this way. That's back to Watto's store. Um, I think it's near the start of the level where we come in. No, I don't need anything from you. You look like a man that could use a rancor skin jacket. So if I can find the bit where we started. So again. Back at the slave quarters. It's not really where I need to be. So, after a few more minutes of walking around my Cespa, found the cantina, and we talked to Team Tor, would you be interested in trading any pod racer parts? And he's going to tell us that he will trade a servo control system, a servo control system for the energy binder and the repulse booster, both of which we have. We've reached an agreement, and there we have the servo control system. So I'm going to take this, not that way. Uh, I'm going to take this to Anakin. My special engine design will make it the fastest pod racer in the galaxy. Wizards, I just need a mass coupler and my pod racer will be fixed. But Anakin still needs a mass coupler. We forgot to get the mass coupler. So now I need to go and speak to um there's a guy that runs a market stall. I need to go and speak to him. And the and Barbo, the shop owner. Because there's a little bit to do 
when we speak to Babo. So we'll speak to this guy first. Looking for a mass coupler, and he says he'll trade a mass coupler um, for two. Will you take anything in trade? Sorry, but you don't have anything that I need. Um, things that we don't have. Then we need to go and speak. To Barbo, who is the uh the grand character that's speaking to the guard and he keeps walking to and from his shop. We'll speak to Marhonic first. One of the pod racers. So we need two fuel converters to swap, to trade with that uh, shopkeeper for a mass coupler. Now what have I got here? A new boost fusion coil, server control system, so I've got one fuel converter. So I need another fuel converter. Um, I've not got everything that Mohonic needs either, so I'm just going, I'm going to go to Barbo's store. No, kid, I don't want to talk to you. My business does not concern you. I took you long enough. I hope you didn't break anything. Just let basically let him know that his house is now thug free. I took you long enough. I hope you didn't break anything. Another quick look around the slave quarter. No, nope, there's nothing around here. So yeah, it's going to be um, Barbo's store next. So that is where I'm going to head. No, kid, I don't want to talk to you. I already talked to you once. And I told you then. Nope. Okay, this is just annoying now. I don't want the dialogue triggering, triggering unless I trigger it. Okay, so find or we'll head back to where Anakin and Padme have stood because that's where Barbo's store is. So that's just down this way. Not that way, this way. Not that way either. Now I've lost where they've gone. Now I've lost my way again. This way. Should be this way. Yeah. Nope. Okay, this way. Definitely this way. Definitely this way, because there are the two Twi'lek girls that work for Jabba that I do not want to talk to. So there's Barbo. So we'll get his attention and then go away in the shop. I'm just going to wait until he plods along and... talks to us when he eventually shuffles his way in I can't see oh here he comes here he comes Okay, do you have any pod racer parts that you wish to trade? Not, not 
and now he's let us out the back. Yeah, I remember him not doing that straight away when I used to play it. But we'll straight out of the back, we'll get attacked by it. There's the part we need. Attacked by a thug. There's the fuel converter. Get rid of the turret. And no. Because Barbo's locked his door. Now we've got to find a way out. So it's round the back, so it's gonna be oh, it's up here. Uh, uh, too far. Up and over, and then round the back of the city or the settlement. Back round the front. And then we need to go talk to the guy. Who I've lost once again. Oh, I think he's up this way. Yeah, there he is. There he is. So now we have the two. Things that he needs. He trades us for the mass coupler. Will you take anything in trade? I'll trade the mass coupler for two fuel converters. We have reached an agreement here. And then we can go give that to Anakin. There we go, there's the mass coupler. I should have done that earlier because it would have saved some time. But there you go. Stop pushing me. So now we just follow the path round to where Anakin stood outside Watto's store and hand him the part So there he is, he's got his pod race parts. And all we need to do now is to go and find Jar Jar at the bathhouse. So we just follow the path round. See, I know where the I know where the back is, so it's just a case of following it round to not here. So there's the bathhouse next to Drow's store. So I'll follow it all the way around. And there'll be an orange door. Um, around here. Somewhere. There we go, just before we get to the slave quarters. Pick up the little health pack. There's Jar Jar. She just told Jar Jar to go and find Anakin. When it triggers the dialogue. There we go, find Watto's shop and wait there till I return. And then we can get out the back way. And it's just a case now of following Jar Jar.
who then decides to disappear. So he's probably gone this way. Oh, not because this again is back at the slave quarters. I really need to draw myself a map of this place because I keep getting lost. I can go to a place three, four times on the same on this level, and I'll still forget where it, in which direction it is. And I think it doesn't help because it's a almost a top-down game so I can't see I can't turn the camera anyway that's Jar Jar found that then ends the mission so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one